when I was in the sixth form at school. The school was putting on a production of Oliver and I was asked by one of the teachers, would I consider being in it? I said yes, and I played the part of Mr. Sowerbury, The Undertaker. Um, not a massive role, but what it was, it was a comedy role. People were laughing and enjoying what I was doing. I thought, I can actually do this, I'm done quite good. So that started me off doing drama. The um, rest of my school life was doing that, and then when I left school, continued. I very much enjoy coming here at nine o'clock in the morning and there is nothing on the stage. It's black and it's empty. And I like the pressure of having to have created something on a time limit. So by seven o'clock at night, the theatre has to have been transformed from an empty box into something we're going to be able to present to an audience. I like the fact that every day we come in and we, we create a new piece for a new audience. People often say, what's it like working in the theatre? And they say, what's it like working in the theatre? Well, I don't work in the theatre. I come in here, I do what I do. I enjoy what I do, but it's not work. I don't ever find it a chore to be in the building and to carry out whatever duties I've got to do. Well, the new Theatre Royal is 125 years old. It's still in that birthday year. I love the fact that when we go to work in upstairs, lifting scenery up on the ropes and things, that they are all powered by us. There is no mechanical assistance. It's all exactly as it was 125 years ago. We got to the 1950s. The theatre became a more difficult place to make a living, shall we say. People were going to the cinema massively then, and also they had the, the, the luxury, some of them, of having TVs in their homes. It is a bit of a downer for the week after because you've been used to the theatre being absolutely packed every day for four, five, six weeks, depending what it is, with lots and lots of people both front of stage and backstage. And so when the theatre loses that vibrancy, then that's probably a little bit sad for a while. But then the week after, when we've tidied up, we're starting on the new one again. So there's always something else coming along, you know. The main thing, I think, is to try and get people to come into the building. And one of the things I've done over the last two and a half, three years, is I do a monthly theatre tour. So people that aren't um, perhaps aware of what we've got and how big the building is behind the auditorium um, get the chance to, to take a peek at that and indeed the history of 125 years. What's happened financially, why are we you know, on our own, what's happening now. We go backstage and you know, uh, go in the dressing rooms and say, well, this famous person's been here and this has happened or whatever's going on. And so, from my end, it's really about trying to get people to love the theatre in the same way that you know, all of us that work here do, really. Being a gardener, you love your flowers in the garden, the winter comes and they die off again, don't they? But come the spring, it shoots up, it's that sort of thing, it comes around again. Never morose for very long, it's, it's, there's always a, a, new, a new production to enjoy. Thank you.